on our promise as an organization to help our agencies, agents build businesses worth owning. Uh, you know, that business has to fund a perfect life and has to create a path for you to financial freedom. One component of that is how you invest your capital, how you are investing your money, and how are you protecting that money. In the last two months, we've heard from our legal partner, uh, uh, Josh Halpern with Legal Help, about protecting yourself and your business with an LLC. We also heard from Bobby Bodner uh, with our tax and accounting partner at Bredify, and Bobby told us about how to structure that LLC um, from a filing standpoint to add about $10,000 more in profit to your business this year. And now we're going to hear from Miss Lisa Ina with Yes Wealth Partners to talk about a less well-known and um, dare I say, a uh, not very well understood by the masses uh, financial vehicle in annuities and life insurance. So uh, without any further gum flapping from me, we're gonna hand it over to Lisa and let her take us through uh, some education around this opportunity for all of us. Hey Mike, thanks for the intro. Hi everyone that's joining and I hope everyone can hear me okay. Um, Awesome, Mike, thanks. Uh, I was hoping if there's a way we can let me uh, share my screen here. I'm still a little disabled on that. Julia, can so, you help with that? I'm gonna keep it very simple, straightforward. There's a lot of information to learn here. And I've learned that just being able to get right to the point and be very transparent uh, makes for a very productive meeting. Do you have... Uh... Do you have access to share screen? I do not. So oh, I think maybe Julia might have just stepped away from her computer. Let me okay. see if I can. Maybe able to. I. Sorry, sorry. I might have to. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me. Uh... Okay, so you're the host now. And you okay. may be able to do that. Awesome. Okay. So I am just gonna dive right into this presentation here. And if anyone has any questions, you know, feel free to ask. Um, okay, so welcome everyone. Thank you for joining uh, for Money, Master, Money Matter Masterminds. I'm really excited to hop on here because I love educating rather than just throwing noodles at a wall and hoping that they stick. A uh, few things I wanna review, very simple, uh, life insurance, college funding, and retirement strategies. So a little bit of what we'll learn today, just keeping it again, very simple, some financial services that we do offer, uh, some financial tips and comparison of products, I think is also very important. And also the importance of guarantees in your investments and your overall portfolios. So a little bit about me, I'm an agent with New York Life, so I'm a life insurance broker with New York Life, partnered with Andrew Lehman at Yes, yes Well Partners. Um, uh, I've been with New York Life for about three years now, I have a background in chemistry and mathematics, and where that all has led me is being a very analytical person when it comes to helping money savvy, savvy individuals uh, manage their money, plan for the future, and protect their families along the way. Um, I'm also available to in-house uh, Keller William agents and also their clients. I've worked very closely with other real estate agents in offering mortgage protection programs to uh, new home buyers who are not familiar with how that works. So some of the um, things that we do offer, you know, again, I offer personal financial consultations. It's a way for us to just review what you currently have if there is a portfolio in place. Um, having some Q&A session as well, visualizing examples, and really just showing you how can you plan for the future and save money along the way starting early on. Another thing, especially for financial planning for individuals, those who may not have a family or a spouse, what's important is being able to, again, set the expectation and provide you with that transparency on next steps, where what I say versus what is in black and white in your contract are exactly the same. And I think that's important to have in a place that's full of spam calls, as many I'm sure of you receive on a day-to-day -day basis. 
Um, and just overall financial wellness. You know, you want to collaborate with myself and Andrew and also Josh and those resources that are available to you to basically optimize and create a renowned financial portfolio. So oh, I always say this, I live by this, I've learned this since I started that if a doctor cares about your health, a financial expert should care about your wealth. So why should you leave that aside? Because all that's going to do is require you to catch up over time. We wanna save you guys money. We don't want you just to throw it all away. So diving in a little bit into these financial products, I'm just gonna keep it very simple. Um, talking about life insurance, we have two products I wanna show you today. Talk about term life insurance and whole life versus custom whole life. Um, they're both whole life products. They both work the same. They just have a little bit of different um, flexibility privileges. Term life insurance, again, it's really easy. It's cheap. It's pretty straightforward. And I want to dive into that and talk about that a little bit more. Whole life versus custom whole life kind of provides you with more of longevity, um, which is something that may or may not be important to some of you that are looking for long-term investments versus a short-term investment. But also when you get to the point of retirement, whether it be for you, someone you love in that arena, or maybe your parents, that a guaranteed lifetime income annuity is rather important to provide that structure of financial stability. So let's just right, get right into it. You know, I wanna be able to explain and start with the life insurance products and kind of transition kind of a timeline of where you are today versus where you can be in the next 30, 40 to 50 years. So oh, term life insurance, again, this is something that we look at as well as renting the apartment, which I'm sure most of you know what that's like. Um, why is it important and why would I want to have something like this? Because it is budget friendly, it's cost effective. Now it does come with, it has its pros and cons, which is having temporary protection, meaning you can maximize those years, but eventually it may increase in premium and it might not be the right option for you. Now you have a death benefit. So again, it's pretty straightforward. If you're paying a premium or if you're paying your rent, you will then have that death benefit in the event something happens to you. You can protect your business, your assets, or just your family and your loved ones. Um, you also have that rent to own concept, which is a conversion privilege, allowing you to transition from uh, renting the apartment into owning the house or having something that's a temporary fix within the budget, but now you wanna transition into more of an investment vehicle. And what are the benefits of having this? Again, you want to be able to have something that's super cheap, allow you to focus on your expenses, your mortgage, day-to-day -day life, but also provide your family with that protection. Again, we don't know what's gonna happen. We're still in COVID, we're still trying to work out the kink. So it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Okay. Now, diving into whole life insurance. Again, whole life insurance, or both of these products are known to owning the house. You are building equity when you own this house. You are in control. Nothing really changes. You're able to increase the payments, decrease the payments um, coverage-wise. You know, there are so many things that you can do. So what I wanna do is I wanna focus on the left side here just for whole life insurance. Now, whole life insurance, again, it's easy. You can have the protection and you have conservative, dependable growth. Now with whole life insurance, you have cash value growth in all these products. They're permanent forms of lifetime, lifetime protection. They're super cost effective and you can save your money conservatively on a monthly or an annual basis. It's very simple, very easy, can be utilized at any given time and you have access to this money without any questions or comments or concerns along with penalties and taxes as well. Now, a custom whole life, again, you can enjoy fewer payments. You can have the policy be fully paid off. So like owning the house or, you know, having a car, you then finance a car and eventually that car is then paid off, but it still continues to be in your possession and grow as well. So again, you have those flexibility options. You have the choice of premium payment years. So as little as the five years, you can pay off a policy overfund it up front and be done with it, but still have it in place for the rest of your life. Um, what I do believe is this wealth accumulation algorithm where it's wealth accumulation equals time times money times rate of return. And of those three variables, you wanna make sure that at least two of them are stronger than one. That way you can maximize your wealth over time, but still give you a sense of liquidity as well. 
I have a, uh, just a, a, a question. Maybe you're going to answer this. Um, Please, go ahead. You know, I am a, uh, uh, I'm a, I'm a single guy in my mid thirties. Uh, you know, I got, and I, let's say I have no debt. Okay. Is, is, is there like, how, how am I thinking about this if I don't have like a family or, you know, like children or a spouse to like benefit from, from a uh, sort of a death benefit standpoint? Gotcha, Mike, that's a great question. So essentially, and yes, and we'll get to that. I'm so glad you okay. asked though, because yeah. what's most important is the sooner you start one, the cheaper your insurance will be overall. If that time does come where you do have a family, you're locked in your health. Um, and that's what's most important here is your health qualification. The healthier you are, the better your benefits will be, the better your rate of return will be, the better your premiums will be. So again, the sooner you start this, the better. But again, this is kind of an IRS tax loophole where you can utilize the cash that is building guaranteed um, on an interest rate at 6% as our dividend. So you are still building and just saying, you know what, IRS, hey, I'm paying for insurance. But the reason why I'm using this is for the tax privileges that is being applied onto the cash that's growing. And eventually there might come a time where you might need that insurance and it may be of value to you. Then you can transition your focus onto that. But you've locked in your health and you've made, you basically have the gift that keeps on giving. It's the only product out there that allows you to have access to tax-free cash. I love the sound of that. I know, right? So again, why does it benefit someone, whether they have a family or not? As you can see in the middle, you know, go Browns, right? <laughs> that orange logo right there is because you want to know that you have guarantees. That's really the focal point here is the guarantees of tax-free growth, that you have access to at any given time without any penalties or surcharges. So again, benefits just for you as an individual who may or may not have someone who may be dependent on you. Um, you have level premiums that will never change in the event you undergo a health issue or some kind of disorder, or if you become disabled. Um, you have dividend potential where you are yielding at 6% and you are continuing to grow. And that concept, which I encourage you, all of you to research about, is called the infinite banking concept. Um, you have tax-free loans and withdrawals at any given time in the duration of your policy. You also have lifetime coverage that is guaranteed. So when that time comes, for example, Mike, that may or may not be important to you. And something that New York Life is the only company in the United States that can provide a concept called non-direct recognition. For the sake of the example, there's $10,000 in your policy and you withdraw five for, you wanna put a down payment on a car or something. That policy is still growing and yielding at 6% on 10 grand rather than five. So for some people who are looking at this at a couple hundred thousand dollar scale, it makes a big difference. So we call that non-direct recognition. We should not penalize you for a personal loan that is your money and that you've been saving for. Hmm. So, and those of you who do have a family and do see this as a, oh, sorry guys, as a potential to protect your family, again, you have guaranteed protection, income replacement in the event something were to happen to the breadwinner, allow your children to go to college as well and to fill that void, and protect your, your business from creditors in the event something were to happen to you. So New York Life will go to bat for you because that money that does come in for your family, um, that death benefit is tax-free and creditors are going to want to get their hands on that. Now, for those of you, again, uh, who do have young children or nieces or nephews and want to put a plan like this in place for them, I just wanted to show you how a whole life policy can be utilized for a college funding vehicle. I'm sure many of you have heard of 529 plans, um, but again, those have some discrepancies in rules and regulations. One being that there is a shortfall in contributions. Um, if you don't make a month's payment or a year's payment, you fall behind on saving. Whereas a whole life policy, you have to pay a premium every month or on an annual basis or the policy will be expunged. Um, you also have taxes and penalties that come with withdrawing from a 529 plan through the bank. Whereas you, know, you may be subjected to state and local taxes, federal taxes at 10%, and also the earnings are going to be taxed. Rather than being able to withdraw from a whole life policy, it's completely tax-free and, and can be accessed at 
any given time for any reason. So in the event your son or daughter does not use this policy for college, they can then use the money on a down payment for a home, a car, a wedding, or they can save it for retirement and allow that cash to continue building. So it's really great. Um, it's not subjected to the market, unlike a 529 plan. And again, it allows you to only have a supplemental way of saving for college, not necessarily putting all of your eggs in one basket. Um, the biggest thing that I've noticed in working with young children and, and, and also being a successor of working with Tosh on a 60-year-old financial practice um, is that this does not factor, a whole life policy does not factor into financial aid decisions. And as we all know, for those who have kids in college or not, the price of, of going to college and having an education is rather expensive along with gas and milk and our day-to-day -day lifestyles. So it's definitely something to consider on a very affordable budget. So I'm sorry, you're saying that this, this is a, is it, would this vehicle be a hedge against inflation? It will not. So a okay. whole life policy is not subjected to the market or any way of inflation, unless there is an increase, which eventually there will be in life insurance costs. So what it would require is necessarily having the death benefit come down, but we can still work within a budget, which is really great. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're not as limited. You have full flexibility. So diving a little bit deeper and transitioning our conversation is, it's so important to invest your idle cash. You know, rising inflation, our day-to-day -day lives, expenses of cost of living, and just our, just like I mentioned, gas, milk, eggs, our groceries. My groceries are increasing by $10, $15 every time. Um, withdrawal rates on any personal loans and the cost of health insurance and life insurance is increasing. So you wanna be able to invest your ideal cash, but also understand the risk that you're putting yourself in. So again, knowing your risk profile, whether you work with me, Andrew, Josh, or anybody, anybody else outside in the world, you want to know your risk profile. How are you saving your money? How is it growing? And do you have access to it? And what comes with that when you access it in the event there is an emergency? Or to heck with it. You just want to take a vacation. Why not? You should be able to have access to that money. So by having a whole life or a custom whole life, you have access to, you really open the gates for all three of those options. And I think that that's really important on a tax-free basis for anybody who's trying to grow their business and start fresh. So now we've gone through the stages of life. We're saving for retirement. We've done the products. We've invested in term insurance and our Roth IRAs. We've maxed everything out and we've finally come to retirement. Now, what do we do? So one of the things I want to touch on is a guaranteed lifetime income annuity. New York Life is the only company that has been a Forbes 100 company and, and top rated largest company to have practiced um, the best guaranteed lifetime income annuities in the United States. So what is a GLI? Every pre-retiree needs to know that, and it doesn't necessarily mean when you're in your 40s or 50s, it's right now. You want to be able to, to know that you can have a steady stream of income that you cannot outlive. When that time comes to look into your 401k and all of those retirement plans that you are working on, how can we utilize them to give you that structure? Um, you want to maximize that income and leave a legacy for your family in the event the life insurance expires or you choose not to follow through with that. And that's okay. There are other options at a different time of life. Um, you can also choose to cover yourself or one or two lives, your spouse and your children, to then receive that steady income if you were to predecease them. Um, and also you eliminate that worry of outliving your assets. A lot of people outlive their assets. A lot of people just focus on spending, spending, spending without any assets. And then when they, you know, any structure and when they hit their 70s, they're now, they need care. They need home care and they do not have the finances to do that. So some challenges, again, that retirees face when we do get to that point. And again, as we all know, this is also changing day to day. Social Security benefits are going to be replaced with a smaller portion of savings. So it's going to decrease. That match may decrease. That contribution may be maxed out. And it's not going to suffice when you come to that point in your life. Most retirees, again, they are not sure how to efficiently have that steady stream of income and have that 
that structure that's really important for them to continue living their lives. Again, market uncertainty is not great. A lot of people that have depended on their, their market space and their portfolio, when COVID hit, they are now in a position where they have to work eight or nine more years and they can't enjoy their retirement at 70 years old. And knowing that employer-sponsored healthcare plans are increasing and there are gonna be fewer options available to them when that time comes. I mean, that's kind of scary and I'm only 28. So again, the point in all of this that I really want you to take home is to keep on investing and think of longevity. If you're interested in looking at something that is a short-term investment, this is not going to be an option for you. Focusing on the market space, being in that arena is probably more up your alley. But being able to have some longevity and planning for the futures, a long-term investment can really pay off at the right time. And what's really great is that I can project those numbers in real time for the future. So with all of that being said and wrapping that up, what I want you all to remember as it may apply in different times of your lives is one, I want you to be able to protect your family, your businesses and your assets and give you that peace of mind that if something were to happen to you, everything is taken care of overall in that estate. You want to know your risk profile. You want to be able to diversify your investments. And by doing that, you have to invest in your future. You have to plan ahead and give yourself that room to be okay with leveling with the fact that you might not have access to it right then and there, but it will pay off long-term. What's most important here is to start working with someone, someone that you have access to, get the advice, shop around, ask multiple different companies and agents, and just really feel for what is right for you. And you have access to that. Again, get started today. Take control and make your money work for you. The sooner you do it with that wealth accumulation algorithm, the better your rate of return and the better investing, really budget-wise, that you'll be able to have access to. So again, all of those things on the left-hand side is my bread and butter when it comes to mortgage protection, estate planning, parental planning. Please reach out to me if you just have any questions. Hey, Lisa, do you work with stuff like this? Do you know of someone that can help me and be a resource to me? I am happy to do that for you. Everything on the right-hand side, my email, phone number is listed there. And if you do reach out to me in an email and, you're, and you're, you don't remember this um, website here, I'm happy to schedule a meeting with you as well, be in my signature line. So with that being said, I encourage all of you to connect with your resources. They are very valuable and we all work together as a team. We are not in this to compete with each other but we are in here to utilize the time and space that you have at Keller Williams to continue growing and knowing that that stuff is out, out of sight, out of mind, and you can focus on prospering in your business. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. That is uh, That was really helpful. Um, if I, uh, couple, can I ask some follow-up questions? I think we got- Absolutely, a, please. A few I'm minutes left on the clock here. Um, when I'm looking at my uh, portfolio, let you know, let's let's take me as you know this uh, you know mid 30s guy uh, or gal for that matter. I mean, you know, I don't I don't know how that impacts things, but you know, it's me. You know, I've got you know, let's say I make a hundred thousand dollars a year, right? That's what every real estate agent makes, or at least that's you know that's what we all build our business plans to do. So let's just go with that hundred thousand dollars a year. How how should I look at um, you know, what percentage needs to be invested in these things? Just, you know, before we get into 529s or anything, just from a life insurance standpoint, like how, how you know, like what's the, where are my dials, right? Do I want, you know, is it risk-based? Like, oh, you know, I want to over-index into stocks or, you know, balance with some bonds or, you know, and then where does life insurance as like a, you know, as a, as a vehicle for me, where should it rank? That's a great question. So again, we're going to use you in an example, someone who is single, no children, you know, if someone was in a different position, the algorithm would be, you should have a policy on your name that is time 10 of your income because you wanna be able to replace that income for your family for 10 years, right? right. Um, but in your current situation, and if you wanna dabble with other things, what's most important is being able to look at all of that. What are you investing in? What is the liquidity? And knowing that you have at least 40% of your savings in investments. 
you know, you want to have the rule of thumb is to have their six or nine, six to nine months of expenses covered liquid, but also yep. give yourself another 60% to enjoy your life and be able to take 40% out and focus on, okay, I want to dabble in my 401k. I want to dabble in the stock market and just peel off a portion to pay yourself. So when it comes to the life insurance part, because it is a guarantee, it just gives you that extra safety net of not necessarily falling right onto your rear end, right? Okay. In the event you lose everything and the market's down. So you have something to turn to where you can withdraw from your policy and contribute back into the market if you wanted to. Got it. That's helpful. Mm -hmm. You have access to it at any time. So it's, it's, it's better to know that than knowing if I touch it, I'm going to be penalized. I might lose. I might take a loss. Right. So that's really good. Oh yeah. So it's like, uh, it's more, uh, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, would you consider it like a liquid? And would you consider it a part of liquidity or is it, uh, how, how do I look at that? Cause like my 401k. That's a great K, question. Yeah. So what I would consider it, especially with business owners that I work with that are on a scale of four to 5,000 employees um, and they have buy sells, if they buy each other out, if something happens to the other person, things like that. Um, I believe that this, a whole life policy is a buffer asset. It's not a primary asset, but it's not a dead asset. It keeps you right in the middle to be able to have flexibility to decide how you want to maneuver in life. And it comes with you and it changes with you. Where mm -hmm. 401k, if you leave a company, you know, now you're stuck having to roll it over. And if you don't get employment, you know, or a 401k within that company, you then have to cash it out and you're subjected to tax, tax on the gains. So you, it's a double-edged sword. So by right. having something that you know is like a savings account, but you're growing, you kind of block out the life insurance portion. Got it. All right, excellent. Um, easiest way to get started is just to reach out to you, right? Just Yeah, to reach out to me. Going. Sure, I just wanna know if we can work together. I'd love to set up a call with any of the agents and see yeah. if, if we can work together. If not, I'd be happy to get you in front of the person that may or may not be a resource to them and helping them in products that I may not be able to do business in. Excellent. Excellent. Well, yeah. thank you so much for your time and for uh, this great explanation of, uh, of, of what this vehicle is and, and all of the diversity in terms of what it can fund and how it can impact uh, the wealth journey and protecting, you know, family, uh, you know, or, ourselves with you know i like the idea of, a, of it being a buffer asset that that makes a lot of sense to me yeah. um thank you so much and we will continue to uh to funnel uh, our talent your way and, and this being a, a way for uh for us to support their wealth journey and their business growth thank, you, guys, so thank you so much if you want to um if if you could send me that slide deck i'll i'll uh i'll also send it as follow-up or use that as a as an asset when communicating with our agents that'd be tremendous awesome i'm happy to do so thanks mike and thank you all yeah. for joining thanks again yeah. thanks for being here everybody uh we will be back here on the 18th 19th of uh looks like the 19th of uh november uh, for our next Money Matter Masters ma Mastermind. And uh, we'll see you guys then. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay dry, stay warm, and we will see you Tuesday on our sales meeting. Great. Thanks Thank so much. You.